Hello, Atomic here. Um, just a quick tutorial straight demonstration on sidechain compression in Cubase 5. Um, basically, sidechain is taking one audio signal and using it to change another one, i.e. you can take the audio signal from your kicks, your snare, your hi-hats, and use that to change another signal, i.e. your uh, synth leads, your strings, bass. It helps the track to flow and it gives it a lot more energy. Um, anyway, let's start. Basically what I've got here is a simple kick, which is just 138 beats per minute. And then we're going to use the signal from the kick to actually change the signal for the synth, which sounds pretty much simple, very simple. Um, right, first of all, what we need to do is the signal that you want to be changing with the compression, you select that, you go to inserts, and you insert a compressor, which is in Dynamics Compressor. Um, and basically, on the I believe it was in Cubase 4 as well, I'm not 100% sure, but in Cubase 5 they got it. There's a little button which is activate sidechain, it's a little sidechain button. So we select that, make sure that's switched on. And um, what that basically does is open the sidechain up. So if we go into the mixer and go into the instrument tracks channel settings for the kicks, if we click on sends, our sidechain, what we've just activated, should now be visible in the sends. So if we select that, um, turn the power on for this tutorial and purposes. We'll put it up full, the volume up full, or the send up full, should I say? Um, obviously, you change the volume or the level according to what kind of music or what your music sounds like and what sounds best. But for this purposes, like I say, we'll put it up full. Right now, what we can do is if we open the compressor up. I find if I put, just as a rough idea, is put the threshold to around about 30, don't have to be exact, put the ratio up to around about 5, put the release, I'd say in between 2 and 300, make sure the hold's down to 0, and the attack down to 0 0.1, but you can change these settings, they're not gospel. Um, let's hear what they sound like now with the side chain activated. Let's just unmute that. You can hear the difference. It's actually giving it a bit more energy. Um, the makeup is basically, it's like a volume knob basically. You can use it to make up the lost volume from the compressor. So already we can hear the difference between that. If I just bypass or turn off the effect, what it sounds like before, and with the compression on, it's basically what it sounds like then. It does have a whole new dynamic to your track, and I'm a big fan of sidechain, and I'd most probably be using it for most of my tracks, pretty much, I'd most probably overuse it sometimes, but hey, you've got to experiment. Um, I hope this tutorial has been helpful, um, and hopefully this will be the first of many. Anyway, thank you very much. Hope this helps. Bye.